call me Fuego. 93 like me. Fire in the sheets, spending summers on the seas. Quedo, no way home. Bell feel life on the day. We get ready to head into game number three. Looks like our plane is in the air, and uh, this is. <laughs> Oof, this is not a good play, Path Hawk. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe we're gonna get a Hypoc and uh, Poro Circle One. You know, this is uh, if you if you're looking for a military island circle, this just might be the one. Mm. As this is about as far south as you're gonna get without touching it. <laughs> I was looking over at the, the. Obviously, I'm in the player Discord for, mm. for this. Obviously, and uh, obviously. as soon as the, the lobby popped back in, they were like, "Yeah, okay, restart this is a bad play. Play pass sucks. <laughs> restart again." So uh, I was expecting it, but um, I mean, it was. I want to see a military circle. I don't care what the players say. Yeah, oh, I mean, look. You, so you've been you've been out of the game long enough now to where you you understand the joy uh, that we get from things being just completely wheels off uh, and and. Watching, uh, watching these guys try to recover from that. And as a result, we have three teams dropping Military Island. Where's the circle going to be? Survey says. Oh, come on, man. My dreams. My dreams and hopes have been shattered, Hypoc. Mm. Between STK and Veritas, looks like this might finally be popping off. And there you go. You can see in the kill feed, Purdy Curdy. They got the two downs opening. They're going to be pushing it with a grenade. It looks like it was just a re-rack. Kurt's going to eat it from Sharp Shop right to the face. As Sharp Shot will try to reposition after getting the flush, though. Uncivil will push in, and he will land the shot, but just barely. 7 HP left in the tank. And uh-oh, Penta. What can Penta do? He's wrapping around. He's going to find him. He's going to get the down. He's going to get the flush. And it's just down to Alo. The push from STK. Started off so well, but fell apart so quickly. Yeah, and the reason I liked it was them kind of trying to capitalize on two members of Veritas stuck at this compound. You can see they were scouting it. They probably noticed, you know, yeah, there's there's two level two helmets, one gray, one white. Let's push it. And then the Veritas collapsed back to the compound. It was kind of their downfall there. Not finding any joy just yet. And oh, here we go. No. Duel had to go somewhere. <laughs> Where's it going to be, boys? Hey, Wooly, what's your plan? I mean, into the waiting arms of Xenia. Oh, my God, Jerry tried to pull up on Jerry? Him. What? He got, he, I mean, it was a hell of a distraction. While he was doing that, they were able to get two. And now, is Duel coming up over the top? Have they actually got the hand, upper hand on this? They do, oh they wipe them. my God. Okay, we were talking about pulling out earlier. That's how you pull up right That's there. how you pull up. I'm, I'm pretty mean, sure there was like two back-to-back -back drive-bys <laughs> on the way past. Why the hell Cherry always seems to be the bait when things like that go down? <laughs> but he has got to be the best damn bait in North America because it seems like it's every usually time Cherry he... doing the bait, and he'll love me for saying that. But <laughs> usually every time he dies first, things end up going well for Duel. I'm not sure what the deal is there, but Oath now getting a little bit fed up with the long-range shots from Dodge. They want to clean out this side. They have to move anyway to get inside the circle. The grenades are coming out. The utilities coming out. The bullets are coming out. Corsac just trying to stay alive. I'm not sure how much longer he can pull this off as he has been mollied to within an inch of his mm. life. And there goes that last inch. Dodge out in 14th. But Oath no better off here as they still have to find somewhere to go. They do, indeed. Um, I mean, now they're just going to try and send some pressure elsewhere. And like I said, if they could survive the previous circle, they have an opportunity to kind of sweep and clean up some kill points. But right now, struggling to really get anything on the board. Balefrost desperately wants this kill. He's going to land the last bullet in the mag there, but McCoy going to try and stick a kit out oh, in the blue, geez. and he will fall, and that's Radiance out in 13th place. I but like... that gives Oath a little oh, bit of space Ripper? to work with. You had a plan. And, mm. well, that, was, uh, that was that plan. Uh, yeah, no, it feels like we've been seeing Oath is in the kill feed nonstop here, but it's just Ooh. been knocks. Knock after knock after what? knock. And very uh, what? They just saw somebody die there, and they pulled up in the exact same spot. Huh. Well, uh, ATC will say thank you very much yeah. uh, <laughs> for the... For the, for the for, oh, oh, look at Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. 
I mean, he's going to get a little bit of smoke cover from his teammates. Uh, one of the members of Fabled will, <laughs> will oh, get no. knocked, and uh, they don't fancy the Reds here, so they're going to send oh, it in the Dacia, this. just two up, Rip and Hella, sending it straight towards the... Okay, uh, we're just going to pull up on ATC, apparently. You know, this is not the first time that I've seen Fabled just YOLO push up onto a team that they know is there and, and get immediately wiped, but... Uh, you know what? I don't know what other options they really had. That's uh, that's what they felt like they could work with. Duel, meanwhile, said, you know what? Forget about Oath. Let's just go ahead and wrap to the north and see if we can third party onto some of this ATC action. Lamp a lot going to pay the price for now. But ATC not feeling very comfortable. As they uh, they actually had to move off the hills and into the into the craters again because of this duel. And looks like Alo is going to get spotted out as well. So there goes SDK. I mean, fair play to him for surviving, what, like 14 minutes past his teammates, but yeah. um, not in a placement point. You hate to see it. Uh, ATC now. Melon actually going to find oh, Wooly over there. Master Select good for the flush. And ATC up to 10 kills now. Taking control oh, over the top side. He goes for a little bit of an ego chow, and Danny G will keep him honest. Uh, he and I think actually so uh, he, the res is relatively safe as well, though, so they're going to be able to recover off it. Got to do something about Danny G. Looks like, well, Danny, Danny's just comfortable just hanging out right now behind that Dacia. It looks like they'll be able to get the res off uh, without incident. But yeah, 10 kills for ATC playing from this field part. I mean, this has got to have been, uh, you know, a hell of a fight here for ATC. They have not had anything come easy playing from these divots and ditches. As Oh, is that going to be good on the molly? Oh, I think it fell on the wrong side of the car. Danny survived. The nade follow Sur up, though. He mm. survives long enough to get a nade to the face. And now ATC has that hillside just to the north of Liberate. And okay, if they you can Sonics, farm here. What, what do you do now? You've been talking about it. You've kind of been talking about Sonics and playing that, that ditch, uh, the, the, the dip. You've got comets that are just off to your east. Uh, on the high ground, and then you've got hardships that are starting to make their way in as well. You've also got, oh, there's 25 alive in this circle, man. Yeah, this is actually kind of crazy. Comet's making a push alongside the road here. Good smoke cover down is going to give them access towards Oath's dip, but whether or not they're going to be able to put enough damage on the way in to make this a clean fight for them. These God. are some interesting uh, flashes and mollies. Uh, they can't play there because of Liberate occupying the compound, so Comet's now... Uh, have used all their smokes to get this far, and now they have nothing to actually advance on. Monty going to try and something, try and find something with the barrel, but you see in the kill feed, Oath just absolutely picking them apart. Comets will reply with a couple, but there you go. Two knocks from Oath, one coming from the third party. They should be able to reset off that. This is the time I would have expected Sonics to make moves, and they haven't just yet. Yeah, they have not. I think they might be a little bit concerned about Houston Hardshifts. Breathing down their necks right now, but hardships are under their own struggles. Getting taken apart by ATC from range. As JSANC will go down to the blue, Maluk's going to go down. I'm not sure who the last one is up left alive. I believe it might be Chubba. Yep, there he goes. Mime's going to pick him off, and that's going to be 15 kills for ATC, and that's the first kill for Sonics. Yeah. And look, look at this. But ATC, this is the, this is crashing. good though. Uh, okay, yeah, they're actually going to crash onto Ghost. One member on foot coming all the way down already, so going to make the entry a little bit better. Melon will find Matthias on the way in. A little bit of utility to follow up on it, but will Liberate be able to stand strong here? Well, the thing is, we also have Oath that's, I mean, still relatively, I think, full four-band strength that are also pushing in from that woodsy area. ATC, they send two, leave two. Marcellic is back on the hillside, downed. 15 kills in the bag already for ATC. Are we going to see three games in a row with a 16-piece? That is unbelievable here as Liberate desperately trying to hold off the push here. We'll just work in the wall. Looks like the back two for ATC. We found the boys from Oath. And oh my goodness, the bar mm. is simply Matt not having it. Melon's going to go down to add it. Good hold coming out from Liberate, but now Oath has managed to make it to the compound as well. Norcus, the last one up. Oh, he does get the res. Okay, so we do have Norcus and 
Marcellic still up. Are they going to go for the res on a melon here? No way. They're trolling. No. Oh, he tried to pull up. Ice tech on the backside of the tree here. The barrel on barrel fight. The hip fire comes out. Marcellic gets the down, though. Nork is going to insta flush that one out. He tries to go oh. over the wall, but Matthias finds it through the window. And now that just needs Marcellic alone on the top of the hill. 46 HP trying to bandage up as best he can. That's a stun. I don't know if he thought that was a flash, but. <laughs> going to try and find a way down this hill. It's going to be difficult for him. Three members of Liberate still staring Ooh. this way. And there you go. Guabi will deal the killing blow to him. But Pat Caps has snuck in, as you said, deep behind enemy lines here. And Sonic's <laughs> still four strong. They're just going to wait for somebody to slip up. That's all they have to do. I mean, the center of the circle is outside of the... Well, actually, it's right on the wall. The center dot is right on the wall. Uh... We'll see what Pat Caps decides to do. I mean, o Liberate can kind of play this out as long as they want. Yeah, there we go. H win right where he is, right where his U.S. stopped. That wall is where the center dot is. We'll have to see how Sonics decides to play this. They got Mime and Win up close on the wall. Tickleton and Trimsey a little bit more at range. It looks like Liberate is going to try to send one out to the side here. Guabi, see if he can find some kind of angle. Oh no, no! I think he's DC'd. Mm, mm. No, he's going for a wide flank. Going for a wide flank. He just hasn't got his gun equipped. Uh, Huin, Huin. Okay, thank you. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you hate to see that. Well, look, Pat. Pat's still in there. Sometimes Pat's... you just got to flank in circle eight. Okay. Sometimes yeah. you got to go for it. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Well, add it and simply, Matt. Still have a shot at this one. It is 2v4, but they do have the added benefit of that sneaky snake, Pat Caps, who is going to have to leave here eventually. The blue is right on top of him. Where is he going to go? Is anybody expecting him? I am. Oh, okay, Tickleton's going to spot him out. Never mind. Pat Caps gets third for Oath to go along with uh, a couple of kills, nice little stack of kills, so they should secure their mm. first place position. I mean, look at this. Look at this setup. <laughs> There's absolutely zero chance they get out of this. There's nothing they can do. Uh, I mean, they're, they're absolutely screwed. Oh. Oh. Matt? No, oh. don't do it to him. Do it to him, please, oh. God. Do it to him. Oh, he gets oh one. God, he's going to get one Oh, no. Oh, no. Tickleton. I like it, though. I that... like it, though. That was almost some of the slickest late game stuff I've seen. They were not expecting that whatsoever. And uh, have it not been for Tickleton with the eyes on quick headshot with the AK. That might have been a little egg on the face of Sonics there. Very, very close. But good stuff from Sonics. They only net.